Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about DJI Spark accessories. I don't have a lot of accessories, but the ones I do have I use all the time and they're just an essential part of my kit. So yeah, let's just get right to it. First accessory is the DJI Spark remote controller. Now I know you're thinking, well, isn't that an essential piece of equipment? You're not wrong, but at the same time, the Spark was designed to work without a remote. You can use it just with your smartphone or using gesture controls. And I pre-ordered my Spark and my Spark actually came before the remote did. So I used it for about a month and let me tell you, that's not a great experience. As soon as the remote arrived and I started using that, it's like, oh my gosh, like what a game changer. I would never go back. So yeah, absolutely essential. The Spark has an advertised flight time of 16 minutes per battery. But when you factor in things like takeoffs and landings and varying weather conditions, you're probably getting closer to 12. Now, that's not a lot of flight time to capture awesome footage. So anytime I'm out there, I want as much airtime as possible and that means more batteries. Now, I have five batteries and I won't even leave the house with my Spark with less than three batteries in my pocket. They're cheap, they're portable, they're light, so there's really no reason not to pick up some extra batteries. I bought a white Spark, but you'd never know it because I applied this cool skin. And I did it primarily because I was flying a lot in the winter in the snow, and I thought, white Spark in the snow? I'm gonna lose it in a snowbank and never see it again. Anyhow, I think the skins are fun, they come in a variety of colors and patterns, they're easy to install, they're cheap, and they last a long, long time. So if you want to give your spark a little flash, a little pizzazz, just pick one up and give it that custom look. Keeping everything powered up in the field can be a real challenge. The spark, the remote, my smartphone, batteries, gimbals, cameras, it's kind of crazy. So when I got my spark, I picked up two of these Anchor portable batteries. They're cheap, they're light, they're portable, and they charge everything I need. I never leave the house without at least one of these in my backpack. For longer road trips, I also picked up a car charger. Now with this device, I can plug in my Sparks charging hub and I can charge three batteries at a time. And I can also use the USB ports to charge all my other accessories. So both the portable batteries and the car charger, they're awesome, they're relatively inexpensive and they're really invaluable. One of the best things about the Spark is its size. It's so light and portable, there's really no excuse not to take it along on all your adventures. The Spark itself is pretty much built like a tank, but the gimbal mechanism is relatively delicate. Now to keep the gimbal safe, I picked up this tiny and inexpensive cover. It fits great, it keeps the gimbal locked down and protected, and it doesn't add any bulk or weight. It's kind of the perfect simple solution to protecting that gimbal when you put your Spark in your camera bag. Well, that's it for this one, guys. All the products I talked about, I put links in the description so you can go check them out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, you guessed it. I will see you in the next one.